Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and this is going to be a quick update on my EDC. Now the reason that I'm doing this video is because I've been seeing a lot of EDC videos lately and in reading through the comments and in reading through some of the comments that I've received in the past, um, I saw a common trend and basically a lot of people that maybe don't carry as much items as you know some of the other uh, members of the community here, um, they kind of wonder how do you carry all that stuff? Now normally when you see an EDC video you uh, you see all the items laid out on a table and you know it, it could look like a lot of things but you know we, we make it work uh, with as minimal as bulk as we can. So what I figured I'd do is I show you how I carry it on my person. Now I've done a video like this before in the past but it was a little biased because the shorts that I had had some extra pockets which kind of gave me the leeway to spread out the load a little easier and uh, make it less bulky. So I figured I'd show you guys today with what I was wearing, which is just a t-shirt and jeans. Kind of like what, you know, just a everyday regular person would be wearing. So right off the bat, I've got my Oakleys here on my head. Uh, this is the original straight jacket model in the full metal jacket frame with the flame on the sides and the ice iridium lenses. Uh, on my right wrist here, I've got some paracord bracelets. And for my watch, as always, I've got my Oakley Minute Machine. So uh, let me go ahead and clip you guys here onto the tripod and I'll show you guys how I carry the rest of the stuff. Now as you guys can see I just have a regular uh, t-shirt and jeans. Now this isn't a tight t-shirt but it's also not a loose t-shirt. It's just a regular uh, regular fit t-shirt I guess you would call it. And these are just uh, regular jeans. They're not cargo jeans or they're not carpenter jeans. They're just standard five pocket jeans. And as you guys can see you can't really tell any of the stuff that I'm wearing or it doesn't print as much as you would expect it. So uh, let me just go through it. In my front right pocket here I've got my uh, primary blade and I've been actually EDC my Kershaw Breakout. Uh, I've been seeing a couple videos on this so I figured I'd give it a little bit more pocket time. Great great knife. It's very lightweight with those aluminum handles. Very thin so it doesn't print at all. You clip it onto the pocket and it stays where it's supposed to go. Uh, it doesn't move around or anything. Inside the actual right pocket, um, I've got my car keys, and I've got that uh, pull that I made for you guys uh, on a video, and you know it makes it really easy to pull out of the pocket. I won't go through the keys because nothing has changed. So, and in the uh, little five, uh, the fifth pocket right up here where the coins would go, I actually have my Leatherman Squirt PS4. Great little multi-tool. Um, I don't really like carrying big multi-tools, so this. Uh, this is perfect for me. It's got the pliers and it's got the scissors, so it uh, pretty much has everything I would you know, normally need. And that fits really nice into the pocket there. You can't even see it. It doesn't you know, get in the way if I need to get into my pocket or anything like that, so um, I really like it. On my left front pocket, I have my iPhone. Um, you know, very thin, so it, uh, it disappears in the pocket there. Uh, obviously, it's got the uh, um, Oakley case on there so uh, pretty nice and I just slide that right into the pocket and I'm good to go uh, you can't even see it there uh, same thing with my keys they don't really print I mean they print a little bit because they're a little bulky but you don't really see a lot of it in my back right pocket I've got my wallet and that's the uh, Mac, uh, Maxpedition micro wallet um, great great wallet uh, for those people that you know, you carry your wallet in your back pocket, but you don't really like a lot of bulk. As you guys can see, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't bulk as much. When you're sitting down, it doesn't bother you or anything like that. So, awesome wallet for that. On my left back pocket, I've got, inside the pocket, I've got the uh, Spyderco Ladybug in that uh, orange color with the paracord. Uh, very thin, very lightweight, so I just drop it in there. It doesn't bother me while I'm walking or while I'm sitting, but, you know, all I have to do is reach into my pocket and pull it out and it's good to go clip to the actual pocket um, right on the side there I've kind of transitioned into my uh, Streamlight Micro Stream and I've got a, a paracord pull to make it real easy to clip out of there um, this is very uh, it's a very good width um, so you could you know clip it to the pocket and you won't even feel it uh, you can't even see it you know obviously with the exception of the paracord there but it serves a purpose you know if I do need it all I gotta do is reach back there pull it out and it's good to go and uh, I'm right handed so obviously you know I you know it's good you know as you guys can see I'm using it with my left hand it's really easy to push um, you know the cap for momentary on or whatever so that's why I have that pull on there now um, normally you know you would see people carrying their firearms um, in the back right here at around four o'clock um, you know I, I depending on the firearm I do carry it there sometimes but um, I've been carrying my SIG P238 and when I'm sitting down it makes it a lot easier and a lot more comfortable to carry it right up here um, kind of what they call pelvic carry. 
So uh, this is where I actually carry mine. And you know, as you guys can see, you could barely see it printing through there. You might see a little bit, uh, but you know, as you guys can see here, uh, there it is. I'll go ahead and clear this so you guys can see. Uh, it's empty. Um, so it, it's very comfortable. Um, you know, I carry it right there. What's uh, what's good about it is that while I'm driving, you know, it, it, it's right there. I don't have to reach back around the seatbelt or anything like that, kind of lean forward. You know, I've got it right there if I need to pull it out or whatnot. It actually falls right in between where the uh, seatbelt, you know, the two ends would meet. They actually meet over here, so it falls right in the middle, so it's good to go. Now, the other thing I have been carrying, and I've actually been carrying in the small on my back, and that's kind of why the reason that I've carried the, uh, the gun up here, is I've been EDCing a fixed blade, and um, this is the, uh, the Roughneck uh, knife that I did a review on. Great little blade. Um, I'm not one to carry fixed blades. Um, you know, I just don't need them. I don't need the, the, you know, the form factor of a fixed blade. But it carries so easily in that sheath right in the middle of the back there that, you know, I figured I'd give it a shot. Um, I'll show you guys how I carry it there. Uh, I used a paracord to wrap around the, uh, the sheath and just, uh, you know, weave my belt through there. And uh, it's great. I mean, you can't even, you can't even feel it back there. Um, you know, if I were to lean forward, you can't even see it. You know, it doesn't print at all. I mean, you can see the, you know, the paracord kind of hanging down there. But obviously, you know, I tuck that in and, and I'm good to go. So... Um, like I said, I wanted to show you guys how I carry it. Let me clip you guys out of here. Uh, just so you can see that you can carry um, quite a bit of gear and, you know, not not having looking, you know, very bulky or anything like that. And, you know, just a t-shirt and jeans. You don't have to go out and get cargo pants or anything like that. I mean, if you do, it would be great because you can, you know, distribute the load a little better. But, you know, it doesn't have to, you know, you don't have to change your attire in order to be able to you know, to, to fit all the stuff that you would normally want to carry. So, guys, let me know if you have any questions, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.